church highly. I learned that she lives in the church and it's sad and hard to think of Emmanuel without you. I was asked to say a few words and for me it's a privilege. Uh, I see you as an authentic Christian, as an uh, example. There is truthness in your life and coherence between what you preach and how you live. You are strong in your convictions and at the same time so humble. Let us by example, you did. You are passionate about the kingdom of God and I admire the fact that you invested in so many lives knowing that we were going to leave soon, but you didn't care. You were thinking of God's kingdom. I am also so grateful for the words of encouragement you poured into me and they helped to confirm in my heart what I believe is God's calling. So thank you, Eddie. Before I say goodbye, I'd like to say thank you to you, Hazel. You always made me feel so much at home in the church. And I am sure your work in Emmanuel will be as nice as Eddie's. I pray that God will prosper your beautiful family and will guide you and be with you wherever you go. You have my love. You have my love, church. Meet you all. Hi Eddie, really sorry not to be there for your last Sunday at Emmanuel Church, but really pleased to have the opportunity to say thank you to you and Hazel for the last 13 years of faithful ministry at ICM slash Emmanuel. Um, 13 years ago, I showed you and Hazel around um, what was my house at the time, but became your house. Um, it was really exciting to be able to show you around. It was particularly exciting because um, just before dad died, he had said to mum, that he felt you were the man best qualified to take on the role of superintendent of ICM. So it was really exciting to see you there considering it and really exciting when you and Hazel and the kids joined us in Dublin those many years ago. Um, one sermon illustration that I always remember from one of your sermons was when you used yourself as an illustration. You pointed to yourself and you said, well, clearly Hazel had fed and nourished you really well over many years, but you couldn't really remember every meal that she had given you. And you were saying the same was true for us as we are fed by sitting under um, God's word um, day, uh, week in, week out under different sermons being, being preached that obviously they do us good, we grow spiritually and we're nourished, but we can't always remember each and every sermon that we hear. Thank you, Eddie, for um, nourishing and feeding me spiritually by preaching from God's word week in, week out at Emmanuel Church. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for encouraging me to explore whether I had the gifts for full-time gospel work by um, doing an apprentice at ICM. Um, doing an apprentice at ICM was a great joy. It was a brilliant two years and I grew so much spiritually in those two years. And thank you for encouraging me to develop my gifts and thank you for trying to um, develop a gift of organisation in me by giving me the rotas to do. That was really good of you to try. I'm not sure it succeeded, but it was great in getting the rotas off your desk, wasn't it? Thank you for that. <laughs> um, also, I just want to take this time to say thank you to Hazel for her friendship over those years and for the many, many, many cups of tea um, in your kitchen made from a pot and not in a cup. I will always remember that. And thank you for your friendship and your wise counsel over many years, Hazel. Thank you. Eddie, one last thing, just want to say. Thank you for being a man of your word. You promised that you would dance at my wedding and dance at my wedding you did. And I'll leave you with the lovely picture of you and Hazel dancing at my wedding. Thanks so much, Eddie, and best wishes and oh, prayers man. for your future and Hazel's future in Lambeau Parish. Bye now.